Yo, what is going on guys? It is Retonic here and today I'm actually going to be explaining to all of you guys why your DS4 Windows does not work. Okay guys, so I was actually getting a lot of complaints on like their DS4 Windows not working and people were sending me screenshots and I was noticing that a lot of you guys actually downloaded the wrong link. Or at least you guys downloaded the old one. They had an update a little while ago and uh, only a few websites actually posted the right link. A lot of them just posted the old one again. So I wanted to show you guys what the new link is and where it is so you guys can download the right one and get your software working again. So basically the only thing you want to do is just drop a like on the video and subscribe if I help you out. And also that when you do that it pushes the video to more people who also have the same issues as you. So thank you to everybody who does do that. Next thing you want to do is you just want to go on Google. I'm already on the website so I'm just going to backspace. And I'll show you guys exactly where I went, how I got to it. I'm just going to go right back to Google. And literally the only thing I did was I just typed in DS4 Windows. I didn't even type in the full Windows. I just type in Windows. But anyway, it's not this one. It's the first one that comes up. So everyone always clicks on it. It's not this one. It's not this one. It's not this one. It's the one that's right here. It's www.techspot.com. And it's the DS4 Windows 2.1.15. Download from TechSpot. So you want to use that one. I don't know why the other ones are even there showing the old links. It's annoying. Again, do not click on anything else but the blue download button. If you click on this one, this one, this one, it could take you to a virus, so just don't do it. Click the download button. If you have 32-bit windows with 64-bit, you should know that. Um, yeah, it's right here. Just click download. Again, don't click this one down here. Hit click here. If it doesn't download automatically, just click here. It'll download. I've already done this once, but I'll just draw, download it one more time. I'm going to let it save real quick. I don't know why I just downloaded it three times, but whatever. Show in folder. Now you guys can see all the ones I have downloaded I, I just i have like four of them downloaded let me just delete these ones real quick okay so this is the zip file you'll get you don't want to double click on the zip file you want to extract it first so you want to hit extract all you can extract it to the same spot or you can select a new spot i'm just going to extract it here so i can show you guys for simplicity Alrighty, so right here ds4 windows double click on that now you guys should get all these lists of programs you guys can pretty much ignore just about every single thing every other thing that's in here other than the hideguard helper.exe the updater and the windows you really don't really need the updater either but just have it there you can have it automatically check for an update as soon as you start up ds4 windows so that's what i'll do i'm going to open up ds4 windows now it may ask you to run an app called hideguard helper like it just did to me you want to click yes on that if it doesn't don't worry about it you can also just run it if you need it and if your disk for windows ever doesn't work just try to run that and that a lot of times solves some problems for you again i cannot believe you guys fell for this but literally the main reason that i saw why you guys' ds4 windows wasn't working like i this is actually the dumbest thing i've ever seen you guys never even started the program <laughs> no 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 <laughs> So anyway, literally, like, I actually can't, like, there's a start button. A lot of times it doesn't come on. You have to actually click start. So if your controller is connected and it stops, it's not going to show up anything. So you actually have to hit start to show it. I can't believe you guys actually fell for that. But anyway, go to the profile tab. I have all these different profiles. They're pretty much all the exact same thing. Just multiple tutorials of explaining that right there. Show you how many tutorials I've made. Anyway, you guys already know how to make a profile. If you don't, you guys can go watch one of my old videos. I'm just going to edit the profile I already have for simplicity to show you guys. This is pretty much all default settings except for one thing I wanted to share with you guys is the upper touch, multi-touch, right and left. If you guys just uh, assign it to the back button, you just double click on it and assign it to the back button in the Xbox controller. That way you guys can just assign it to the back button in Fortnite and that just helps you out a lot so you can just use your touchpad without having to get rid of a button on your D-pad. It's kind of nice. Another thing you guys want to do is go to your controller readings and a lot of you guys also had more input delay than like 1 or 0.5 or 2. If you guys have over 2 that's a problem, if you have under that you're pretty much fine. Even 3 is dealable, like you can deal with that. But if you guys have really high, you guys want to get a new Bluetooth adapter. That is like the second thing you should try. The first thing would be resetting your controller. There's a button on the back of your controller to reset it. Now again, if you guys are using the Astro C40 or an Xbox controller, they really don't need this software. The only reason you would need it is to use the anti-dead zone and the other dead zone like adjusting features in here. And the Astro C40 already has the software, so it really doesn't need it either, to be honest with you. Anyway, I wanted to just let you guys know that if you, the second thing you guys can do is um, you get a new Bluetooth adapter. A lot of you guys are using your motherboard's Bluetooth, which isn't normally that good. So what you want to do is get a Bluetooth adapter. I'll leave a link to one, like an Amazon link, right down below. And you guys can go ahead and click on that and just buy that one. That one's good. That's the one I use. So you guys can always get that as well. 
Next thing I'm going to show you guys, you want to go to your other section here, and you just want to make sure your Bluetooth pull rate is on 1%, or 1MS. And you also want to make sure your emulated controller is also on 360, and that way um, Windows reads your controller as a defaulted Windows controller, so that way it has pretty much almost no input delay. Also, another thing is I wanted to let you guys know is that a lot of people's controllers were just straight up disconnecting from the software. And a lot of times if your battery gets below like 15%, it just disconnects itself. I'm not sure if that's a setting or anything. I haven't seen it. But a lot of times that happens if your controller gets below 15%, it just disconnects. So just keep your controller plugged in when you're playing. Just not to your PC. Just make sure it's plugged into the wall. Again, I also solved the double input problem. So if you guys need another tutorial on that, I'll just make Two hours later. So I actually wanted to cut back right here. I was going to go ahead and just cut the video out, but I actually wanted to cut this in to the video real quickly and just explain the double input problem. I know I said I wasn't going to explain. I was going to explain another video, but I actually decided in editing to just go ahead and show you guys here. So if you guys have the double input problem, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix that. And you want to go to your device manager. That is the first thing you want to do is go to the device manager and you want to go to human interface devices, which is HID right here now with this connected you should see two hid compliant game controllers that stands for human interface device game controllers you should see two like i have here now what i want you to do is i want you to open up your disk for windows just like i have here i want you to go back to uh hit cancel you go back to your controllers i want you to hit stop now if you stop it should refresh like it just did for me and when it refreshes, you should only have one game controller. Now, if you still have two after you stopped, then now you know you have the double input problem and that's how you fix it. So what happens if I double click on this one, it should say location on Bluetooth HID device. And it should say that it's Bluetooth, which it does, it's Bluetooth. Now, if I were to go ahead and go back, if I have another one here, that says wired or USB or anything like that, you want to get rid of that one. And in order to get rid of it, you just want to double click on it, go to driver, and then disable device. And if it, when you disable it, if it doesn't already install it, you want to uninstall it too. Now that will fix your double input problem. And then you just want to exit out and you guys can start this back up. Now, again, I want to explain. Now, if I even, if I were to go back after I started it, interface devices now there's two again that's fine if the control if this is running if you're actually started and this is running and you have two that is fine now if you stop it and you still have two now you know you have a problem or maybe you have three when you have it started then you know you have a problem hope this uh helped your double input problem i just wanted to show that to some of you guys because i almost was going to leave it out of the video but i decided to just add it in to help some of you guys out in one video so again if you guys do enjoy the video drop a like and subscribe you are your vibes go back to the video some sort of way i feel like i explained it a lot better in this video so if it did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new turn on post notifications so you don't miss any other videos and yeah if you guys drop a like it just spreads the video to other people who have the same issues as you so like i said i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace